I guess you guys remember this truck. This truck is the one that was struck by lightning um, over uh, the I-40 in New Mexico. So finally I got the truck to run normally again. So I wanted to give you an update on what we did on this truck. Um, as you remember my previous video I showed you on how this truck was running. It was running rough. Um, idle wasn't the best, uh, lights were coming on and off, nothing of the accessories inside were working, but now everything is done and I'm gonna give you the aftermath on what we have to replace and what was the cost of repairing a problem like this. Initially they took this truck to the dealer over there in New Mexico and the dealer gave an estimate of over fifteen thousand dollars to repair this problem since they were going to replace all the models no questions asked and also they were going to replace the uh, some of the uh, wiring harnesses as well but uh, the cost here was a little lower but before giving you that i'm going to tell you what models we replaced and what other models we took to uh, um, start the process of repairing this and, uh, and let's start with that. So I have all the models right here that I did replace on this truck and uh, there, there were a couple sensors too that I did replace. Um, starting for the engine computer, engine computer did die. I removed this engine computer and then I placed the new, I mean I used engine computer um, and it was giving me the same problems and then I decided to replace this computer again on the engine and then this computer didn't work anymore so this computer was about to die anyway so that's the reason why I replaced it so there were other sensors like this sensor right here this is the fuel rail pressure sensor he actually was sending the ground signal to the computer saying that we had a high circuit and actually the sensor was the one going bad and we have to replace the EGR delta pressure sensor the throttle valve the intake throttle valve actually went bad too so th those three components sensors and actuators were bad besides the engine that's only on the engine side so what I did on this I grab a, new, a used computer and I reprogrammed the computer with these parameters on this computer and that's it engine works fine engine solution was done but then I have to work on the cabin and all these uh, other situations so the main problem was located right here on this component many of you don't know what this component is but this is called a central Get gateway. This is a component that communicates many different modules inside the cabin. What it does is to transform signals so other components can understand what the other module is talking about about the other module. So that way they can understand and start working normally. So this was the main reason why everything inside wasn't working fine. But after replacing this one, still the original modules, like the CAMSAT, this is this one. The sun cap, the original model that came on this truck, it wasn't working properly anyway. The reason why is because it was sending the wrong information when to activate turn signal lights, stop lights and everything. And that is the reason why everything was flashing rapidly or constantly when the vehicle was on. And then this one right here, I did replace this one too and uh this if you don't know what it is this is the uh, sh uh sun chassis this is the one that controls mostly tail lights and trailer lights the reason why i replaced it was because there were some lights that weren't working that was the reason why so everything else was working but there were some lights that weren't working and that was caused because of the high intensity power then was delivery with the lining uh, when it was struck with it and the last component that I replaced was the ABS module. In this case, this ABS module died causing errors internally and uh, ABS light was on and there was no errors at all. And it was because the ABS module went bad. So here is one, two, three, four, five different models that I did replace 
on this uh, uh, Freilander Cascadia. This is a 2016, if you don't know it. Um, there is other modules then added in replace, like AC modules, uh, dashboard modules, radio modules. Um, uh, let me see what else. Uh, the real communication modules uh, and some other little modules that are around a computer uh, emission computer module cabin uh, communication modules uh, and all those little other modules then are uh, important for the cabin too but i didn't replace those because they didn't have any problems the ones that suffered problems were these ones so now if you ask me how much this cost so it was not that expensive because mostly we use use models. So I use I uh, I use sun cap. I mean chassis. I use computer for the ABS, and I use computer. I mean I use uh, some sub sun cap, and this one was used too. This model right here. So. In total, buying all these models, spend around like $2,500 buying individual models and buying the sensors around like, this one is just 300 bucks, just the sensor, so around like $400, $500. So we're talking about $3,000 in parts, labor wise, it's around $2,000. So basically, this truck was fixed with five thousand dollars. Dealer was asking fifteen thousand. Is this ten thousand more than uh, than what we fixed here? But uh, dealer was going to replace things and things just because they just wanted to replace it, not because they investigated the problem. It just they were just going to replace them just because it was part of their uh, um, book and reading or uh, troubleshooting they say so uh, in this case we did everything by based on experience based on actually inspecting getting what was the issue and at the end we had a positive result engine runs with no problem this truck is ready to go it's been sitting for a couple of days because there is no driver right now but um, it is ready to go now so if for any reason you are driving off the road and you get struck by lightning you are pretty much looking to spend around five thousand dollars to repair but just because i replace all these modules on this truck to fix this specific vehicle right here doesn't mean that you're gonna do the same because all the problems that are going to happen to different trucks are going to vary depending on what causes the issue in case you have an issue then you get a stroke by landing or your truck is exposed to a high uh, voltage situation because of a short circuit or internally then happen because of the batteries or because you touch a high source cable of electricity over the road if that uh, happens to you you have to investigate freeze what is the issue instead of just replacing modules here and there you have to use the DDL software and you have to use your experience to understand what could be causing the issues then probably the truck is having at the moment but this is all I have for you right now. It's just a little update on uh, the situation that went on this truck. Uh, luckily, the truck is running right now. We test drove it. Uh, we sent it a couple miles away to see that everything is working fine. And it is right now. It came back for different little things, adjustments and things like that, but nothing major. So right now the truck can go anywhere in the country. So uh, we expect that then we won't have any other problems um, in the future and uh, this is all for you so if you have any questions about this specific problem or you have experiences if if you happen to have this type of issues or you had it before or something you can comment below share your experiences because you know everything varies depending on the case so having different opinions and different type of problems will help different people to understand what could be the problem when you have situations like this and uh, you want to support my channel you 
can uh, check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel. Um, it's very important that you subscribe to my channel and like the videos. And if you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram. Look for me, Francisco Mada YouTube. Follow me there and you're going to see different things that I'm doing. And thank you for watching.